when you looked at the film, uh, just kind of what, what were your thoughts? Yeah, like usual, it's never as bad as you think it is and never, unfortunately, as good as it feels at times. Um, there's a lot of stuff to clean up, but I felt like, uh, you know, like I said after the game, I thought the pass protection was good. I thought uh, we were good on the checks. Uh, we just missed some stuff in the run game and, you know, missed a couple uh, throws, could have kept drives going, and a couple penalties. What you were most pleased with when you, I mean, obviously that, the, the long drive was... Yeah, the little things, the checks and the cans that we have. Uh, Cadence, you know, we're 100% on the cadence, zero delay of games. Um, You know, good on all the checks on the back end. So I thought those were really good. We just, you know, mistargeted a couple runs and and, I missed a couple throws. You said yesterday that you uh, wanted to get Garrett involved. I think he got targeted 11 times, which which is still a lot, but you feel that there needs to be more? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would seem like a lot to most people, but I remember joking with Devontae about that, and it was never enough. So, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, you watch the film back, and there's, uh, you know, there's some more opportunities. Obviously, if we convert some third downs, it gives you more plays, and then there's more opportunities. How do you find a balance, too, because like, Tyler wasn't really involved in the game and stuff like that, and then you want to get him involved, too. How do you find that balance? Yeah, I would love to get him involved and Ruck involved and 82 involved and Mike involved. Um, a lot of that's just play. You know, you have 49 plays. You only have a certain amount of opportunities. We, you know, called 22 passes when I was in there. Um, you know, some of them are, you know, one guy routes. Some of them are two guy routes. Some are full feed, full field stuff. But it just depends on the plays that are called. Obviously, it came in a loss. But uh, how does it feel to be back out there, be healthy, and be playing? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I feel like uh, it's been a long year for me. To I mean, a year ago today was the injury. So. A lot of gratitude for what happened. Um, yeah, I feel good about what I did out there uh, for the most part. You know, I felt like uh, my feet were good. The perfunctory signals were good. Um, you know, subtle adjustments. There's some things I can clean up for sure, but uh, it was good to get back out there and feel like I was in the flow at least. Does, does getting through that, that first game, does it feel like there's a little bit of the weight of that moment is kind of off your shoulders now and you're still a moving forward? Yeah, I mean, that, there might be some of that for sure, but... Yeah. Uh, when it comes down to it, if you can make those environments as much like practice as possible, you know, it becomes uh, a lot easier. And we had, you know, three, two of them I participated in uh, joint practices, so those are important, you know, so I felt like I wasn't uh, dealing with a lot of rust out there. Three games in 11 days is never easy in the NFL, but at your age playing this game, anything you do to prepare differently when you've got that golf and running schedule? I really ask those guys up front to block for me <laughs> so I can feel like I do right now, which, you know, I got hit twice and kicked once. So that's a pretty good night for uh, for a 40-year-old. How encouraged were you about the third down efficiency going six and ten in that first game? I think, you know, numbers can be deceiving, you know, because I feel like as much as we had a good drive, uh, our third drive to go down and score, we converted on our third downs. Uh, we had too many three and outs. So... 60% is great on third down, but not when you had, uh, what, three three, uh, you know, three and outs that hurt us. Aaron, like you mentioned, today is the one-year anniversary. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, <laughs> I brought it up. Are <laughs> you reflecting on that? Is it a little different today? Than- I had forgotten about it, actually, until I got a text uh, this morning early about it. Um, yeah, you know, we go into the uh, – the Groundhog Day mindset being a Wednesday and we're on to the next opponent. But, yeah, like I said uh, before the game last week, there was a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, perspective and gratitude. So um, a lot's changed in a year, and, and I'm glad to still be playing and feel healthy. Do you mind wow. saying who texted you to remind you? No. Speaking I do mind, yes. <laughs> you you uh, um, different team, different time, different era kind of thing, but the, you were – a lot of people remember you for the relax thing in Green Bay um, for overreaction. Uh, is there any parallel to what, what went down on in San Francisco Monday night and, and to what, what you have to look ahead forward? I mean, I think we always got to stay relaxed. It's a, it's a long season. I think at times people think the season is like you're out in the prairie or the desert and you're wandering around trying to find water. Um, but it's more like a nice, slow bolero, you know, where we're just – swaying with the music and, and uh, reacting to whatever comes through, uh, comes to us and through us and just trying to uh, not get too high with the highs or too low with the lows. 
the league is a lot different than when I said relax years ago in that there's just so much more coverage that there's so much more opportunity for overreaction. So um, I get it. We want to win. The fans want to win. The organization wants to win. But the process has to be the same. You know, if it's good enough in week one, it's good enough in the playoffs. So we got to stick to the process and, and the preparation, the way that goes, and, and trust that it's good enough, you know, like a nice, a smooth uh, bolero. Aaron, uh, how frustrating is it to, to know the weapons that you have, to know the work you guys put in the preseason, and then not to be able to fully show it in the number of plays, the production on Monday Night Football? It's not, not super frustrating. I mean, I think the most important thing is for those guys to remember that it's a long season, and we're trying to get the ball – Obviously, to everybody, uh, to only have, I think, five different guys catch passes is not kind of a typical game that I've played in. But, you know, we're on the sidelines for a lot of the game. And part of that's our fault, third downs, you know, not converting three and outs, not converting on first, second down. Um, You know, defensively, we didn't get off the field uh, as much as they would have liked, I'm sure. But um, in those situations, we got to help our defense out. You know, if if it takes 30 to win, we got to score 30. So it wasn't good enough on our part. Frustrating. I mean, I hope nobody's getting frustrated. It's one week. You know, we want to get Mike involved, want to get uh, X involved, we want to get uh, our tight ends involved, and it's going to happen. It's just, uh, you know, it's going to be week to week. From the standpoint of moving in the pocket, how did you feel about that on Monday night, and how do you think that will progress from here? I think it's going to get better. You know, just the more more comfortable I am out there, the more game reps I have, it's just going to. Uh, keep getting more confident to, to do those things. You know, I've always played uh, with the ability to uh, extend plays. Now it's changed. The ability has been less about the opportunity to run for, you know, 400 yards in a season or high 300s and more about extending plays to throw. But, um, you know, I did a lot of that in, in practice. I did some of that in the joint practices. So I didn't have to the other night. The protection was so good. You know, I was uh, throwing the ball on first first hitch or no hitch a lot of the night, which uh, is a good night for me. Aaron, you were quoted a few years ago. I can't remember if it was Matt's or Mike's offense you were talking about. You didn't really like pre snap motion. And people kind of that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. A long yeah. time ago. How you got to give us space to grow there, you know. <laughs> you know, we got we have the opportunity to, to grow and get better. But how you're right. I you, said something similar to that. How has your view changed on that? It's really the rage now when we see San Francisco. You it's all Miami. the rage, yeah, yeah all the rage. How has your view changed on that? Well, I think there was a time where – for me, there was a love affair with what Peyton was doing for so long, where they just lined up in two by two or three by one, and everything's at the line of scrimmage. So I think there's there's value in just being able to look at it, and then like we done third down a few times and being able to get to the right play. And as we've seen, there's a lot of value in the pre stab motion stuff because it, it uh, create, creates a lot of consternation for the defense, and it tests their uh, their gap control stuff. It, teps, it tests their rules. Uh, it can move uh, multiple guys in the same play, whether it's a nickel or backers or safeties. So it gives them a lot to think about, and I think it's an important part of the offense. But that's because the league has changed. You know, when when you know Peyton was going, when I was a younger player, the, the league was different. You know, it was it was just you could keep base on the field. You could you could sit there and look at it and and suss out you know what was coming. Now, you know, my my consternation with all the motion was protection because as a West Coast quarterback, I was raised to start with protection. But as we've seen now with all these motions. Uh, teams become less uh, aggressive to bring pressure because you can get gashed, whether it's in the run game or the pass game, by avoiding zone. So um, long answer, but I do like the motion. I did say that at one point, and I appreciate you giving me the room to, to grow and to uh, to adjust to that. <laughs> Statistic, statistically, you guys, there was a on Monday night a pretty good uptick in the amount of motion you used compared to last year. Yeah. So I'm wondering, if was there a, uh, like a meeting of the minds in the offseason and say, hey, this is something we got to do more of? I would say there was a meeting of the chefs, and everybody was in the kitchen throwing in their ingredients. Uh, you know, a lot of sous chefs figuring uh, figuring it out. But ultimately, we, you know, you guys saw a lot of our practice. It's not different than what we were doing in practice. And again, it, uh, there wasn't a lot of that shown, really, any of it in the preseason. But that's that's what teams do now. There's always going to be unscouted looks. There's going to be things we work on in practice that we don't even run till we get to the regular season. And now. Once you get it on film, you add to it, you add adjustments to it, you have checks off of checks, you have uh, things that look the exact same and plays off of those, and that's what the motion can uh, can do for you. Aaron, uh, Aaron, 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 Aaron Lazard had a tough year last year. As obviously, everybody did here, but uh, coming here for his first time, how good did you feel about the way you played the other day and, and did it kind of feel like old times a little bit out there with you? Well, he should have caught the stick to start the game. Um, other than that, other than that, I mean, he, he played he played really good. I'm I'm as proud as him 
of him of the goal line play as anything else because you know that's that's how he got paid he got paid being being the grimy guy you know put sticking his head in there and blocking guys and finishing plays and um you know he caught a, a great uh, fade kind of to get him going after he had the drop and then great adjustment on the on the free play and had a, a stick route go for 15 yards so really proud of Allen. you know that's what i expect of him so um, the cool thing is that's what he expects of himself. So last year was definitely really hard for him. But that's the Allen that I think you guys have all seen in, in training camp and the Allen that I know and love uh, on Monday night.